Okay, you guys, so I'm back with another tutorial. This time I'm doing a half up, half down quick weave. As you can see, I've parted my client um, in two parts. So the back part I did a braid down for, which will be um, the part that will be hanging down. I just did a simple braid down. I did one small braid around the perimeter, and then the rest of them were straight, you know, straight down braids, and I just connected the ends as you can see and then the other half i'm leaving loose eventually we'll get to that part i'll be pressing that part out and that's where the ponytail will be what i'm gonna do is secure the back part which is the part that's gonna be hanging down first um, so since we're doing a quick weave i'm taking some black neck strips and i'm just covering the back of um the braids and you'll need your client's help for this so i'm having her hold each side as i take the next strip from one side to the other until i've covered till i have all the braids covered completely there are different techniques that you can use to achieve a glueless quick weave today i'll be using paper so once we have the paper situated as you can see i'm gonna put a stocking cap on to cover it completely once I have the stocking cap on, if you can remember the perimeter braid that I had going all, all the way around that section, I'm going to take some needle and thread and I'm going to go through the, the cap and the paper and sew around that perimeter braid. With this technique, you will need to be careful not to poke your client, but you should definitely feel your way along. If you have the braid thick enough, you know, you don't want to make it too thick because you don't want it to be bulky, but it should be thick enough where you can kind of feel it. And you'll see me feeling and going along the perimeter as I sew it down. Once you've completely sewed around the perimeter, you're going to take some shears and you're going to cut the cap and any excess and paper. We call this method a glueless quick weave or glueless because absolutely no glue will be able to reach your client's hair. So once you do glue the tracks on, you will be gluing it on top of the cap and the paper. There's no way that the glue can reach your client's hair. So with this style, I like to prep both parts first and then I'll install all the hair. So now that we've prepped the back, we're going to go ahead and start prepping the front, which is where the ponytail will be. And um, if you looked at my previous videos, I already did a detailed tutorial on how to do a ponytail. So you'll basically do the same thing. I'll make sure I put the link down below so you all can check that video out as well. But as you can see, I'm prepping for the ponytail, doing a press, um, and I'm going to go ahead and mold it up. Y'all, this method is really good for natural hair clients or clients who have had bad experiences with glue. Um, even some people use Morning Glory and they um, have had bad experiences with that as well. So this is kind of like a no-fill technique. There's no way you can get glue on your client's hair as long as you make sure that you're covering all of their hair with the paper thoroughly and you sew the cap down, you have nothing to worry about. Okay, now we have both parts of the hair prepped. We have the quick weave part in the back we've prepped for the glueless, and we have the ponytail part prepped. And make sure that you're positioning the ponytail to your client's liking. Here you see me taking another neck strip, and I'm just, of course, protecting the hair again where the ponytail will be. And you're just gonna wrap the end of that ponytail, that little nub and make sure it's very secure because once again we don't want any glue on our client's hair and 
then I just use a couple of drops of glue to secure the neck strip or the paper around the ponytail. Okay, now here's the fun part. Now we're going to start placing the tracks in the back, which this is the part that will be hanging down. So as you can see, I'll be placing the tracks in an upward direction. Track placement is very important with styles like this. Since she has absolutely no hair left out, you want to be mindful of how you're placing the tracks. Placing the tracks in a U shape will bring the hair forward to the front of your client's face. It will make it look more fuller as well as each track that goes on top of the previous track will cover, it will hide the wefts. So you won't be able to see any tracks on the edges or anywhere else. For this style, you would normally use three bundles or three packs of hair. You would put two in the back and then you would use one pack for the ponytail. So you'll see me putting the tracks pretty close together because you want it full. You don't want it, you don't want it thin. You want a full natural looking install. Now, once I adjust the camera, you'll be able to see the effects of what I mean when I say place the tracks in an upward motion and how you can't see any of the ends of the webs and how full it's looking along the sides of her face. Okay, now that we've placed all the tracks in an upward motion, you're basically gonna do that. You're gonna do that U pattern until you can't do it anymore. So now we're getting to the top end. I'm sure you're wondering what we're gonna do because there's no hair to leave out. Now, this is a preference. You can leave a small portion of the hair left out, like what you see right there to cover the tracks if you would like to. I personally think it's pointless. Um, and because most of my clients are natural, we always opt to leave all the hair completely um, covered. So what I'm gonna do is continue to do that you, and I'm actually just gonna close it up towards the top. Here's a better view for you all. And the reason why I choose not to leave any hair out is because, like I stated before, my clients are all natural and they don't want to have to worry about pressing their hair or their hair freezing or their hair not blending. As well as once we install the ponytail, it will be covered. No one will ever see that part. Um, so I just feel like it's no point but of course like i said it is your preference if you choose to you will use the same method you would just keep a small leave out so that you would comb it over the tracks at the top okay now we're about to add the ponytail part you can see me applying glue to the paper and then i'm just gonna wrap the tracks all the way around until i get to the base of the ponytail as i stated earlier i do have a detailed tutorial on um ponytails and i will make sure that i put the link down in the description also don't be afraid to leave any comments i would love to hear any tips tricks any kind of hair hacks that you all may have or know that you haven't seen me use i would love to try them i'm always willing to learn and build on my craft and i mean let's help each other i want to teach y'all i would love for you to teach me and you can just leave your comments below or just tell me what you think of this technique
Now, this would be your finished product, y'all. It looks so good, so clean, so sleek. She didn't want any baby hair. She wanted a really clean look, and I love the way it turned out. So, now, all you do from here is style. You can do it straight if you want to do it straight. You can do curls if you want to do curls. Also, layering it layering around the ponytail and the um, back part gives you know a nice look as well she didn't want to do any layers so we kept it long and did soft wave Also, if you guys would like a tutorial on how I do my soft waves, please leave comments below and I will provide you a detailed tutorial on doing these beautiful curls. You guys also make sure that you're dropping any comments or questions below and i would love for you all to let me know what tutorial you would like to see me do next 